In this video I'm going to show you how to use your Casio 991 ES Plus to calculate dot products. So to show you how to do this we'll just do an example. So if we've got a vector A which is just 1, 2, 3 and a vector B which we'll just make 1, 1, 1 for simplicity. Then if we want to do A dot B we're doing 1, 2, 3 dot 1, 1, 1. And when you do a dot product you're just multiplying each of the elements like this. So you're doing 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1. So you're ending up with 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is obviously 6. So let's do this on your calculator. If we move down to some instructions. So first thing you need to do is get your calculator into the matrix mode. And this is mode 8 on the calculator. So just press mode followed by... 8. Um, to do this calculation you have to go qu through quite a number of menus. So we want to insert our vector A and we said that's 1, 2, 3, that's 3 elements so we're wanting this one here. So press 1, now 1, then press equals, 2, then press equals, and 3, then press equals. Now we want to insert um, vector B, so press shift and then 5 for the vector menu, move the calculator up a bit. So 5 puts us in the vector menu, so we want to access the data, so press 2, and then press 2 again to get the vector B. And this has got 3 elements, so press 1 again, so we're doing 1, 1, and then 1 again. Okay, so now we've inserted our data. So we have to save this, so to do this we press the AC button, which is where the off button is. So that's the data now in the calculator's memory. Now we do the calculations, so we press Shift 5 for the menu that lets us work with this data. So press Shift and then 5, you notice there's the vector written above there, which is accessed through the Shift function. So we want to use vector A, so that's on number 3, and we want to find the dot product, so we'll go back into that menu, so shift 5, dot product is number 7, and then we want vector B to go here, which is doing A dot B, so press shift 5 again, and then vector B, which is number 4, and then press equals, and we get 6, just as we've expected. Uh, I think it's easier usually to do a dot product. Um, without doing all of this, but just to show you what the calculator can do, it's quite good to make sure that you've got the correct answer. Um, so thank you for watching.